What's up, guys? Angry Mandu here again. What am I angry about? Prices. That's right. I'm angry about prices. Not of the average things like, you know, when you go into the grocery store and a mango costs a dollar. Although that does kind of piss me off that I can go to the flea market and buy two mangoes for a dollar and they're fresher and taste better. You know, people look at you like you're a little strange. But I'm actually angry about the cost of crafts when I go to places like this because there's a certain value of things and there's a certain value of your work but I find that a lot of these people are way overpricing the value of their work you can do that you can do anything here versus the quality of their work because they think because it's art it's then worth more money it bothers me because I am an artist myself I don't just make the filmography thing but I am a fine artist I do drawings and paintings and I do some woodworking and crafting but I do it brilliantly well I'm an artist of life sometimes I think you like it I do all sorts of things but when I sell my art I do it based on the value the aesthetic value if you're selling something that is a painting or a picture or something that is fine art in some way and it's only for looking at then the value is then based upon how valuable it is to see because it creates that illusion of depth the amount of eyes that are drawn to it generally the, the interest of it however if you are selling something of other worth like jewelry or clothing or something it's based upon the quality of how it's made and what materials are used the point is if you spend a lot of time on the piece yes it, sometimes it makes the piece that worth a lot more but a lot of times that doesn't even necessarily matter because at some point you put a price tag that is way beyond what the actual piece is worth all right this table is really freaking awesome and i think that it's worth a lot of money okay i built it out of stuff i found in the garage but if you put a price tag on it for fifteen hundred dollars then the only people that are gonna want it are people that are like i just want it because it's fifteen hundred dollars nobody wants it to be the centerpiece of their living room is going to pay that just because they don't have it. the average person who is attracted to such things and has those eyes to have such a meticulous collection of things doesn't have the money to spend on these things for people who do have the money it has to be a relative price based on what it's worth now, if i pay fifteen hundred dollars for a freaking table i want to be able to jump up and down on the table yes <laughs> though the cost of actually working such things, I get it, sometimes it takes time, sometimes it takes a lot of energy, sometimes it takes a lot of product. If you take the amount of products and stuff that you put together in order to make it, and you add a total cost, then I would say the average person is worth about $10 an hour in their craft. Well, why would I say that? Well, because you look at that thing right there. If you're spending 20 hours on the thing, then you're putting $200 on top of the cost of the thing. You're making a very expensive piece as it is, but you're not doing it. What the hell is that thing? Because it's profitable, you're doing it because you love doing it. If you're doing it because it's profitable, then your art is worthless. And I know plenty of artists that are worthless in such a way. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this and wish you what else I'm angry about, you can get ahead and check out these videos here. That's how we grow as people. Or if you want to see what other adventures I have been on, you can check out this playlist. As always, you want to like the video, you want to subscribe, and you want to pick yourself up a Mushroom Man t-shirt. Thanks for watching. See you, my friends, later. That's right. I'm a cheap ass. Peace.